Hi everyone, I am going to start a new subject for the gate preparation that is electronic devices subject and uh, this uh, subject is is in only in EC branch not in the triple N instrumentation branch but for these two branches so they are having the analog electronics and digital electronics subject right to study those two subjects so they should know how the electronic devices the operates though these devices how they operate or what is the functionality of those devices that is like diode how the diode works how the transistor works if they don't know how these devices are working so they cannot study the analog electronics or digital electronics subject because these are the fundamentals they should know first right then then they can easily understand the concepts in the analog electronics and digital electronics so that's why we the these two branches students should uh, study the this electronic devices course also right then we'll see what is the marks weightage for this uh, subject so for the past four years so the average marks we are getting is eight marks and the minimum six marks and the maximum we are getting 11 marks from this subject right that is if we see for the gate 2017 the set one we got nine marks set two we got 11 marks right now uh, the 50 percent of the marks will be based on the uh, basics of this electronic devices right so once we know the basics of this uh, course so we may able to solve or answer the 50 percent of the questions right the remaining 50 percent we need some hard work right so because there are a lot of equations in this uh, course right so this course is mainly 50 percent theory 50 percent equations right so first we will discuss the theory then based on the theory so what are the mathematical equations to prove that theory that also we need to study so that's why the 50 percent theory 50 percent equations will be there so we need to remember so many equations in this course what is the syllabus we need to cover in this electronic devices subject uh, there are six topics will be there so inside this uh, six topics there are so many different concepts also will be there that is we'll see one by one so the first topic we need to cover is energy bands in intrinsic and extrinsic silicon so in this uh, topic we need to cover so many concepts like what are the types of semiconductors right so and what are the energy bands in the different types of materials then what is the energy band diagram in different types of semiconductors like n type or p type right and uh, what are the uh, how to make this n type and p type semiconductors right how to form that we need to discuss in this right and uh, next one is carrier transport that is whenever there is a current is flowing through any device or etc there should be always some carrier will be flowing in either electrons or holes right so whenever they are moving or transporting from one place to another place so what are the different types of current will be producing or flowing that is diffusion current and drift current then how much fast are they are moving that depends on the so the one concept that is called mobility mobility of electrons mobility of holes that also we need to discuss then resistivity resistivity and conductivity also we need to discuss for the different types of materials or semiconductors then the third one is generation and recombination of carriers that is so to flow a current so there should be some carriers so how to generate those carriers right then once we generate they will be sustained for longer time or what so that depends on the the lifetime of those carriers that is how much time the uh, they will be there before the recombination right so they will recombine always with the opposite polarities that also we need to discuss that is generation and recombination of carriers then the very important topic for this ele uh, electronics communication engineering students as well as triple e as well as the instrumentation is the, how the function function of functionality of the diodes that is how they operate right what is the operation of the pn junction diode similarly what is the application of diodes Sim the next one is the operation of the gina diode what is the application of the gina diode then other diodes will be there that is light emitting diode as well as photo diode and solar cells so we tend to discuss about those concepts also and the next one is also very very important one that is the transistors so 
the bipolar junction transistors as well as the mass metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors so we need to discuss types of djt's right then uh, types of mosfets then each uh, suppose types of djt uh, means npn and pnp transistor will be there right what is the operation of this npn transistors or pnp transistor what are the current equations in this transistor similarly what is the mosfet uh, types as well as the working of those mosfets right and the current equ equations we need to discuss and also how mosfet acts as a resistor or acts as a capacitor that also we need to discuss in this the next one is integrated circuit uh, fabrication process right how the num uh, billions billions of uh, transistor will be manufactured in a small chip so that so when they are manufacturing so what are the steps they need to follow so what are the different types of processing steps we need to discuss in this course so we will go just to see the some introduction about those processing step we will not go in depth in that processing steps right so that will lead that will be a subject in the uh, post graduation course for VLSA people so that we will just see the introductions to those steps only right so this is about the syllabus we need to cover in this electronic devices see what are the test books we need to follow for this electronic devices course the, there are three standard test books for this uh, devices course the first one is solid state electronic devices by Benji Streetman and Sanjay Kumar Banerjee right so this is for purely this uh, electronic devices course right there is uh, one more standard test book for this uh, devices course as well as the circuits it is micro electronic circuits by Sedran Smith so we can study the electronic devices course as well as the analog electronic circuits from this test book right and the third one is integrated electronics by Milman Halkias and Parik right so from this test book also we can study the devices course as well as the analog electronic circuits right now if we are able to solve the exercise problems and example problems from these three test books then we can easily solve 99 percent of the questions from the gate exam right there is no doubt at all so that is about the uh, introduction to this course and what are the test books we need to follow what is the syllabus we need to cover and what are the marks weightage in the gate exam right in the next lecture we'll see the basics to the this electronic devices course